three, two, one. Still Come bossy. on, man. But still boss there. And, he's he's and, if, he's he wants, and if he wants to be a good coach, he will be. He will you know be. I mean? Someone as well. Someone like Ilkay Gundogan. If he wants to be a good coach, he'll mm. be a good coach. Because he's that kind mm. of player. Like the guy can play in every position. Someone like Cesc Fabregas. These kind of guys will be good coaches. Because they just get it. You know, like that. Thiago Silva will be a good coach. If Casemiro wanted to coach, I'm sure he could do it as well. Because oh, these absolutely. guys are just drink these guys are thinkers, you know what I mean? Players like Daily Blind and all these guys, these guys can coach because you can tell, like, they just, they carry out certain things just on the pitch, like, without being told. They just know. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's just one of them ones. And now you see what Ruud van Nistelrooy is doing now. A lot of the Dutch as well, because they're taught a certain way, like, these guys, they learn the game in their mind as well as in their feet. Whereas in England, you just learn with your feet. And most of these men are dumb. Like, they don't learn the game. That is so true, bro. That was spot on. I swear down. That is the realest thing I've heard in a while, bro. <laughs> that is so true. Yeah. If you if you look at all the Dutch players that we grew up watching, a lot of them involved in football with and they well, Edgar Davids now is Van Van Hal's number two. Before yep. it was Van Nistelrooy. Now Van Nistelrooy's coaching. Do you know what I mean? And it's just a conveyor belt of these guys. They mm -hmm. learn, they play, and then they go back to teaching. You even know what even I mean? and uh, that's what what's his name. Do. Um, the guy who used to play for <laughs> Liverpool, blonde hair, the coach. He's he's coach, coaching yeah, as well. Yeah. How's he coaching? Yeah, he's uh, he's coaching. Uh, Den, okay. He's coaching Den Haag. Oh, see, see okay. that you see that even with Germany, you see that with players who will then you know what I'm saying go elsewhere, be superstars, and then come back and like Oliver Kahn, for instance. You know what I'm saying? There's um, there's a striker who as well. I forgot his name, but like the, the list goes on in terms of like German yeah, but that's that's typically that. German though. Germans yeah. always go into like management, finance, well, yeah. and type of things when they finish playing. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, what's his name? Bierhoff was um Germany's Bierhoff. general manager. Kahn is Bayern CEO. Rummenigge, he's involved with the board. Beckenbauer, he's involved with the board. What's their um right back's name from back in the day? Yeah. Zali Hamicic, he's their sporting director. Like yeah, they've they got brains in it. Yeah. Like them man, they, they do it differently, bro. It's, it's ridiculous. It's actually it's beautiful to see how they transition from playing and then still staying in football, but still being relevant for their club or country, or whatever it is. It's really beautiful to see Gundogan. I heard Gundogan's doing his coaching badges as well. I've actually he seen is a video. Man City. I've at seen man a video. City, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I've seen yeah, he's coaching. He's coaching the kids at the moment. Like he's coaching. I think it was the under 16s or something. I've seen him coaching. Mm -hmm. Which is yeah. Sick, you know what I'm saying he's going to be a sick coach. You know what I'm saying? You just know it. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't get a player that can play five, six different positions without being intelligent. It's impossible. Yeah. You know what I'm um, saying? It's impossible. Someone said in the comments, Aaron, you've seen the video of Ten Hag as a 13 year old. Yeah, I've seen it, bro. Man was chatting to, man was schooling, flipping, what's his name? Um, uh, Johan Cruyff fan. 13 year old Ten Hag. Oi, if you have got the link, yeah, drop it so like we can watch it, fam. I swear down, Rance, a 13 year old Eric Ten Hag, yeah, talking. So Johan Cruyff about how to coach players. You can't shout at them too much because it will not get confident. I'm like, this guy's 13, bro. Yeah, that's 13. what I'm saying, bro. Special, Oi, special no, Oi, my manager's sick. Don't chat to me, bro. My manager's <laughs> sick, bro. You mad? <laughs> this is what I'm saying. My fucking manager, bro. Ten Heisenberg, you know. Man on man, chat to my guy, bro. Hey, man was chatting to Johan Cruyff, you know, as a 13-year-old. That's crazy, bro. I hope, yeah, got the subtitles as well. What do you mean? Yeah, football. Yeah. That's straight. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. That just comes down to my management as well. It comes down to reading the room, bro. Bro, at you know 13. That? Yeah. But that's what I mean. To be that conscious here at 13 years old tells you everything you need to know. That's bro. crazy. Facts. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, that's so. I'm not thinking about that at 13. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just you making know thinking about that. I'm, at, the, at, at 13, I'm just figuring out the difference between 442 and 451, fam. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that. Like, I think I'm no, a tactical no, genius. No, 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 no,
You know, like that. <laughs> but like, yo, how you not go play 4-4-2 with that? I'm thinking yo. playing an extra midfielder <laughs> instead of a striker is, you know what I'm saying, riveting. You feel me or that? That is, that is moving the envelope. You know what I'm saying? That's moving the needle. Oh, no, 100%. Jesus. That's what I mean. So, nah, the thing's fucking, nah. That's, when you're exposed to that high level of um, footballing excellence at that such a young age, bro, like, bro, come on, man. Guys sitting yeah. down with, like, that's what, true. I'll give you the most influential fucking coach in the history of the game, like just mm. chopping it up, bro, at 13. Like, just casually, you know. I'm casually, saying, bro. Like, <laughs> schooling men as well. Like, no, nah, you can't do this at, at high level. And if what? they keep thinking making the same mistakes, then yeah, confront them. I'm like, oh, bro, that's crazy. 13, you know. 13. Brother, exactly. At 13, man was trading Yu-Gi-Oh cards in school in that, brother. I was, I was, I was playing Pokemon. Back, you know what I'm saying? That. I was yeah. arguing with you know what I'm saying arguing with Arsenal fans and shit. That was the heat of the United <laughs> Arsenal bout. <laughs> this guy sitting down with tactical shit. I'm on the front line for United. Like you know what I'm saying, it? I don't know about back freezing or that's crazy. I ain't even thinking about you footballers at 13. That's crazy. Man no, said fact, Davide Ancelotti, the son, is being linked to the Everton job. I heard um Bielsa flew in and he's having talks with them. Hey, Bielsa. Bielsa's a shout, bro. But he wants he wants reassurances that he can have control of the whole thing. Yeah, because that's how he runs, bloody Aston. Yeah, yeah. Listen, they've got nothing to lose because they don't have a lot of money to spend. So give Bielsa the thing because he'd improve what's yep. there. He doesn't spend a lot of money to bring players in. He's exactly what they need. They need a project manager because they don't have money. Yes. yes. Yeah. You know and, with I mean? that, so... and with all them athletes they have there, it suits the game he wants to play. Yeah, there yeah, are a lot yeah, of yeah. athletes and a lot of runners. Blood, he can yeah. he can do something good with them, you know, and he can work with very little as well. He can work with little, even if it's and not going to last long yet. Even mm. if it lasts like a, a year and a half, and then the the next manager comes in, at least you have a foundation, and Bielsa can go. Here you go. This is a <laughs> solid group of players that is fit. Because if there's one thing you know about Bielsa te Bielsa's teams, them men are fit, bro. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. The they are. <laughs> they. <bro. laughs> do you know what I mean? They are the in, in shape. Do you know what I mean? Yes. They. They don't get tired. Yes. They play this nah, thing in absolutely. training. What they call it again? Was it um is it death ball or something? Murder so ball, like, murder like, ball. That's yeah, it. that was it. That's yeah, 20, 20, 20, 25 to life ball. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, something like that. You feel me? Like, I can't lie, I wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. My fit, fitness is definitely not, you know what I'm saying, top of my list in terms of attributes. So I fully hear that, fam. I fully hear that. And he's been in relegation battles before as well. So he's got that yes, experience. He knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not walking into certain new. He's been here before at least twice. <laughs> oh, so, man, yeah. cooking me in the comments. All right, man, the post patrol is <laughs> he here. He did bro. say pause, yo. He did say yeah, pause. Yeah, I did say <laughs> the post he said pause. patrol is here. He did say pause. <laughs> I know. Funny, blood. You know that, that. Man, the pause patrol. Yeah, but I need them t-shirts, blood. Yes. One step at a time, though, people. You get me? Yeah. Midnight. Oh, yeah, I heard what you said about Arsenal as well. If they don't win the league, you're gonna make merchandise. I'm buying it, yeah, bro. I'm buying 100 I'm making that, bro. I'm you buying know, it like that. January champions and that. Man, I'm gonna buy the January champions hoodie <laughs> and that. No, man, man, I have to do it, bro. January champions. January champions, bro. My man, <laughs> Champ I need that, fam. 